If you've been with us any length of time, you've seen our leading economic indicator chart where we're tracking 20 of the biggest uh, economic and financial indicators out there. And for a long time now, for about a year, we've been in a yellow, red, uh, declining market. And uh, that is continuing into this year. So this is showing us that we don't see any huge change so far this year and what to expect moving forward. A couple of bright spots, though, that we actually have is recently we've seen interest rates. Actually, everything the Fed's been doing to raise interest rates and to control inflation um, is taking its impact and it is slowing inflation. You know, if you remember, our peak for inflation uh, last year was a little over 9%, and they've about cut that in half now. So we've got inflation down around 4%. We're not all the way to the Fed number of two, two and a half, but you know, we're significant. Another thing to look at, um, and CNR gives us their tracking of the S&P 500 earnings growth estimates. And what they're projecting is still a lot of opportunity for this downside, for these earnings estimates to go lower, anywhere from three and a half to 5% moving forward. And how that impacts the market overall is if you look at the chart at the bottom where they track how they feel about stock prices. Are stocks overvalued? Are they fairly priced? Are they attractive or very attractive? They're still seeing with this slowing in the earnings growth estimates, a lot of downside risk. So we could see some more movement in the broad markets where it stays where it's at or it actually starts to retreat a little bit maybe somewhere in that 5% range here in the next three to six months. So we're watching that, we're using that as a way to kind of gauge, hey, when do we want to be fully invested in the growth of the market? Uh, we're believing that you know the economy is going to bottom somewhere around the end of this year, but we're tracking this as to what's the right time to maybe buy in. Where, where are the good prices for that recovery? And we always want to bring it back to the big picture. So finally, we want to show you, when you look at this long term, this is a chart of the historical 20 plus declines in the market. And then subsequently, what happened over one year, five years, and 10 years, represented by the bars here, the, the red bars that are going down below the line that are negative, all the way back to the Great Recession. Uh, that's how far the market went down. The blue represents the next year, the very first year of recovery. The green is a five-year picture, and the purple is a 10-year picture. And you can see historically, you know, the markets recover, and they recover well after these market declines.